we've got scenario where we've got the fault being applied. And uh, so we draw uh, a, a false line and then find its perpendicular distance, which is given here. So force into perpendicular distance, that's here, and you can find your, your moment. Uh, because the, the moment was about 0 0.0, the tendency is to take clockwise, so this would be a negative number. There's no negative sign given here because this is mentioned here that it is clockwise. Normally, I would suggest you just write minus 14.5 kilonewton meter. That's it. Don't mention this if you are mentioning the sign. Okay, so this is one way of calculating the moment force into its perpendicular distance. What if you do not have the perpendicular distance? Then the easy way out is if this was your force, you split it into components, that's this one here, and the other one is here. So the force is split into two components. If I look at the FX, again, the force line, I would draw a force line through FX, and its perpendicular distance from O, 90 degree, that is given here, found out from this degree given here. So FX into this gives me the moment created by fx. So my fx into the perpendicular distance, let me, so my, my, my fx into, sorry, into this perpendicular distance gives me a moment. And if you look at the tendency of rotation, it is clockwise. The other force vector is this one acting downward. I draw a force line, action line, and then look at its perpendicular distance from it. And this distance uh, S is given here, or DX, sorry, DX. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, sorry and dx is given here. So uh, again, I've got my force component. So in simple words, I've got this force component acting downward and this perpendicular distance given here. That's the force acting downward. And with respect to O, there's a tendency to rotate in the clockwise direction. Again, this would be negative. So the answer to this is the same. So if you split your force uh, vector into two components and find the perpendicular distance of each component, you can get your answer, or you can directly, if possible, you've got your force line, and you have to find the perpendicular distance. If you can find this D, then you can straight away do M0 is equal to FD. So there are two ways of calculating a moment. The easiest one is basically you split your force into components and then multiply with the respective uh, perpendicular distance and get your moment out. And the resultant moment is sum of all the uh, moments created by each uh, component. Now, this is what we do basically in 2D. 